What's up everybody? We got some Guns N' Roses news to finish off the night. So let's get started with the Steven Adler news. As you guys know, Steven Adler is going to be doing an AMA on Reddit. This is a picture that pretty much confirmed it. So he's going to be doing it on January 26th. Uh, wanted to make a correction. I, I think I said that January 26th was a Friday. It's actually a Thursday. And he's going to be on there with his mother, Deanna, as well. So him and his mom will be there promoting uh, his mom's new book about Steven Adler. And then we've also got a cool video that was posted on Guns N' Roses social media pages. Uh, this is from uh, their recent concerts in Japan. There's some really cool behind the scenes footage and just some footage of Slash goofing around with Duff and I think his bodyguard backstage. So I've linked to that video down below. Go check it out. And as you guys know, Guns N' Roses are going to be playing another concert. Uh, you know, they'll be playing today if you're in Japan and... By the time I wake up tomorrow morning, their concert will be done. They're playing in Yokohama, Japan. And this is the site at Yokohama at 10 a.m. in the morning. People are already lining up to go see Guns N' Roses. So people are super excited. And then we've also got some fan pictures with Slash and Duff as well. So you guys can see here some fans were able to meet up with them, I guess, at their hotel. And then we also learned who the opening act is going to be going to be for their Singapore show so it was previously announced that Wolf Mother was going to open for Guns N' Roses and they still are but they've added another band to the bill so Tyler Bryant and the Shakedowns are going to be opening as well for Guns N' Roses if you guys remember they were one of the opening acts for Guns N' Roses when they were touring stadiums in North America this past summer. And we've also got another interview with Tommy Stinson. Of course, he's out promoting Bash and Pop. And he was interviewed by Yahoo News. And uh, they were, of course, talking about surviving the replacements, Guns N' Roses, and reviving Bash and Pop. And he was asked about, you know, who was easier to work with, Paul Westerberg from the replacements or Axl Rose, to which he responded, they're both similar, they're more similar than dissimilar. They're both very much focused on how uh, they see it in their head and how it needs to be. So you have to roll with that a bit. They're both strangely perfectionists and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a part of the genius involved with both of them. Other than the music being completely different in a lot of ways, it's not derived from a lot of, from all that of a different place. Axel and the original bassist Duff McKagan came from a punk rock school of things from Big Degree and the same records were probably on the turntables owned by Paul and Axel at one point or another whether it was the Heartbreakers or the Sex Pistols. And then Tommy talked a bit about Chinese Democracy, the infamous Guns N' Roses album that took almost 14 years to make. He said there was a lot of variables with the record company, including Interscope chief Jimmy Iovine, who really mucked up the work, works quite a bit in some ways. He said there's a certain thing you have to have when you work with Axel, and I don't think we ever had the right guy. He did say that producer Sean Bevan was the closest, and most of the songs on the record pretty much started and ended up with what he did. And if you guys remember, Sean Bevan was involved, you know, back in, I think, 1999, 2000 or so, or maybe even just before that, uh, in Chinese with Chinese Democracy, and he'd worked with other people like Marilyn Manson before, and uh, he was then eventually he left the project, and uh, there was actually an interview he did a couple of months ago where he was talking about Axel and he said that before Axel actually records in the studio, he loves to do like stand up comedy for like 30 minutes or so just to warm up. And then our final piece of news while we're talking about Tommy Stinson is that him and his band Bash and Pop actually appeared on Stephen Colbert's late night show. So if you guys want to see their performance, they did. I've linked to it down below. That does it for today's Guns N' Roses news. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys want to see a full recap of the Yokohama uh, concert, I'll have it up on my channel tomorrow. So I'll break down the set list. I'll talk about any notable events, as well as talk maybe a bit about Axel's voice and how he's sounding these days. And make sure you guys subscribe for the latest Guns N' Roses news. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at Guns N' Roses Daily. I will follow you guys back. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.